Andy Murray has been knocked out of Wimbledon and John McEnroe has given his verdict. John McEnroe claims Andy Murray wasted energy during his second-round loss to Stefano Tsitsipas at Wimbledon. The Brit was beaten in five sets after the match resumed on Friday. Murray led by two sets to one after the match was paused on Thursday evening. The 11 p.m. curfew at SW19 meant a conclusion couldn't be reached when the 36-year-old was on top after having won the previous two sets. Tsitsipas looked the more energetic of the two and he won the fourth set on a tiebreak. The fifth seed then took an early break in the final set and served out to win 6-4. Murray was visibly angry at times and vented towards his family and coaching staff watching on from the box. It isn't unlike the two-time winner to show his true emotion on the court. But McEnroe reckons Murray cannot afford to use that much energy at his age anymore. The American said on the BBC, Let me tell you something from someone who has experience in yelling and screaming a bit. You do burn some energy and especially as you get older. He was laying out to his box quite a bit. I think he needs to sort of keep that and reserve a little bit more. It's easy to say when you're in the commentator's box and it's hot out here and he wants it so bad and he's so close. But maybe at the end, he got a little flat in that fifth set. Murray has recently said he has a date in mind for retirement. McEnroe has a theory that he will call it a day after the Olympics in Paris next year. He said, he will probably go to the Olympics, maybe he's got that in mind, he wants to play for his country. I am guessing but at this point, he may have to reevaluate. He does love to play and after all he's been through it should certainly be on his terms, what he wants. But how long can a guy who should be in the top 5 stay at 40? 50 in the world? How long can he take that mentally? Former British no one Tim Henman does not believe Murray has played his final Wimbledon. He can see him playing on until next year at least. Henman said, I personally don't think it will be this year. First and foremost it's the dejection of a phenomenal competitor and he knows that he's been playing very, very well. He knew the opportunity he had. That's the raw emotion of it right now. But I think with all the work that he's putting in and looking at his schedule, I definitely think he will be back at Wimbledon.